What are these hearts on my face for, Mom? The hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? That represents your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh no, what's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Look at me. It's never gonna happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. We should go on a date sometime. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I'm your type. I'm Brianna. Who? The weird girl. <laughs> There's no way that's you. Goodbye, Jake. You're doing great. You already got someone to fall in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? I told you not to snort. I only need three more people to fall in love with me, and then I can meet my soulmate. Look, there's a guy right there. What do I do? Wink at him. Act cute. Play with your hair a bit. Whoa, is everything okay here, little man? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay. I was actually trying to flirt with you. <laughs> oh, you were? I thought there was something wrong with you. Hey, my name's Jason. What's yours? Brianna. We should exchange numbers. Okay. You lost another heart! No way, your makeover's working great! Hey, Bray. <laughs> Stop, if you wanna get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Your makeover's working great! Hey, Bray. <laughs> Stop, if you wanna get boys, you can't be friends with Kevin anymore. Brianna, look at this insect I found! <laughs> wow, let me see! Brianna, tell him. Kevin, I'm sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. I'm trying to get boys to fall in love with me, so... I can't be seen with the weird guy. I really hope that getting boys and being popular is worth losing who you are. So after class, we'll go looking for the next guy. Brianna, don't wear your glasses. I can't see anything. Why do I have to change everything about myself to get boys to like me? Why can't I just be me? Brianna, wait. This is just so boys will fall in love with you so you can find your soulmate. Once you find your soulmate, you can go back to being yourself again. And who's to say my soulmate's going to love me for who I am? No one else does. Brianna, you lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. You lost another heart. You're almost there. But how? I haven't talked to anyone new. Hey, Brianna. Your grades have been doing phenomenal. You're looking really good these days. I like your new look. I'll see you in class. Do you think it was Mr. Stevens that fell in love with you? For his wife and kids' sake? I hope it's not him. Okay, right in front of you, that's Chad. He's one of the hottest guys in the school. Go up to him and ask if he would like to attend Devin's party with you. Kevin's walking this way. So? Hi, Kevin. Don't talk to me. You're too cool for me, remember, Brianna? <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, what are you doing? Go talk to Chad. Right. Chad. Hi, what's your name? I'm not sure we've met before. <laughs> Stop, boys don't like it when you cry. I don't care. I don't care about Chad. I'm in love with Kevin. Is Kevin more important than your soulmate? He is. Then go to him. Kevin, I... Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. Kevin, I'm so glad we're finally boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too. <laughs> I love you, Cynthia. How'd it go with Kevin? Did you tell him you like him? He likes someone else. Brianna, you lost your last heart. Someone else fell in love with you. Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. It was me. Oh? Not in a romantic way, in a platonic way. I fell for you and I saw that you stay true to yourself and know what you want. The only person left to fall in love with you is your soulmate. That means I'm going to find my soulmate anytime now. That's the girl I remember. <laughs> it's so great to be myself again. Hey, do you mind if I sit next to you? Uh, okay. Does anyone know the answer to this equation? 7,422. Girl who knows her math. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. What? Nothing. Congrats on finding your soulmate and getting him to fall in love with you. What's this? It's a list of all the people who fell in love with you before your soulmate. The third person on the list is Kevin. Mm. Honey, you got a word on your head. <laughs> oh no, mommy, give me a hint. It's something you do to me all the time. Bite? <laughs> 
answer carefully. You're only allowed two wrong guesses. It's something you do with your eyes. Sight eye. Sweetie, you got it. Oh no, mommy. You got a word on your head. Hurry, give me a hint. It's a horror movie. Scream? No. Smile? No, it's one of the greatest horror movies of all time. It was made like a long time ago. Halloween. No, mommy, it was the Bota. Grandma, stop stealing my makeup. I was almost late getting ready this morning. You've got a word on your head. Hurry, Grandma, give me a hint. People often say that you are... Perfect. Stunning. Oh, no, I only have one guess left. You have to guess something that you are, not aren't. Give me another hint. POV tic-tackers are... POV tic-tackers are... Cringe! I got it correct, but just so you know, Grandma... POV TikTokers are not cringe. Where did those sunglasses come from? Hey, Eugene, wait. I need to copy your homework. You can't copy me. That's cheating. You have a word on your head. Give me a hint. I'll guess it. No problem. It's something you don't have. Friends? No. When someone's a charming person, they're... Insufferable. Okay. Eugene, watch me. Treat me like what Don't get me dirty. What is this? It's... Embarrassing. No! Oh, Eugene, it was Riz! Brianna! Not now, Sophie. I'm super late to class. You got a word. Hurry, give me a hint. It's something you drink. Water. Juice. Carefully, you have one guess left. It's a white liquid. Your dad went out to get what and then never came back. Your dad went out to get what and then never came back. Milk! I got it. Thank you so much for the hint, Sophie. I couldn't have done it without you. Here's your test, Brianna. Mr. Stevens, you got a word on your head. Gloss, give me hints. If I guess the word right, I'll give you all A's on your test. It's something you should never do during a test. Cry. Mr. Stevens, what do you always tell us to never do? Pay taxes. Mr. Stevens, what did you do to your wife? Cheat on her? Yes. The word is cheat. You got it. Everyone gets an A. Yay. Yay. Timmy has a word on his head. Please, someone give me a hint. Me. Ugly. I got it wrong. Give me a better hint. Okay, opposite of good, then add I-E. Not goody. That's two words, Timmy. Give me an example of the word in a sentence. Shia. Shia. Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe. Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? Know what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks. Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. Here's your hair tie back. Seriously, you're giving it back now? I don't even want it anymore. Well, you need to take it. I need to fulfill all my promises and get into Harvard, so... No, I don't want it. Take it! Okay, jeez. Thank you. You're so much better than my girlfriend. Hey! Babe, it's not what it looks like. I was, uh, giving her CPR. Come on. We're going to get married right now. And then... We're going to get a divorce. Wait, but I don't want to. Let's go. The only marks I have left is to fulfill all my promises and become famous. How am I going to become famous? Hmm, let's brainstorm some ideas. <gasps> I know. I'm going to post thirst traps on TikTok. Brianna, no. How'd the video do? Did it get any views? Yeah, a lot of views. Then why don't you look happy? Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever. At least I'm famous. Oh, yeah. You're famous, all right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. What? Look. No. No, no, no. My last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did. I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. I can't get into my dream school. You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? 
Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise. But I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey, Mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting to Harvard dishonestly. Your interview is tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. A potato, pass it on! I don't want this potato. It's ugly. You have to pass it on before the timer runs out or else you die! <gasps> Hello, little girl. Sure, random guy. Have a potato! Thank you. I am so hungry. <laughs> Hot potato, pass it on! Seriously, Derek! Where is everyone? Sophie, hot potato, pass it on! Why would you give me the potato? I'm your best friend! Timmy, hot potato, pass it on! Are you kidding me right now? I'm glad you're safe, Sophie. Yeah, no thanks to you. How could you pass me the potato? I thought we were best friends. I was scared. I couldn't find anyone else to pass it to. We're not best friends anymore. Don't talk to me ever again. Sophie, don't do this. Goodbye. Sophie! Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Everyone run! She has the potato! Come on, guys! Jimmy, hot potato, pass it on! Oh! Woo, 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 I'm gonna drop it! No, Jimmy, if you drop the potato after touching it, you die! I dropped it! Come on, Jimmy! Hey, Sophie, wait. Are you really just never going to speak to me again? Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. Hot potato, pass it on. No, you pass it on. No, you. No, you. Pass on the potato. Hot potato, pass it on. Pass on the hot potato. Pass it on, Sophie. Pass it on. Ouch. This assignment's so hard. Could you help me, Brianna? <laughs> Anything for you, Jake. Oh, mother Mommy, I promise one day I'm going to be famous. Brianna, I told you not to make any promises. Now you'll have a permanent mark until you fulfill your promise. Does anyone have a hair tie I can borrow? Yeah, here. Just promise me you'll give it back. Yes, of course. I promise. Sup, babe? Hey. I got you flowers. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. I love you so much. Promise me one day we'll get married. I promise. What university are you applying to? Harvard, of course. Um, you don't know? Know what? You can't get into Harvard with any unfulfilled promises. They're very prestigious. I gotta go. I gotta get rid of all these marks. Is that even possible? I promise you, it is. Here's your hair tie back. Seriously, you're giving it back now? I don't even want it anymore. Well, you need to take it. I need to fulfill all my promises and get into Harvard, so... No, I don't want it. Take it! Okay, jeez. Thank you. You're so much better than my girlfriend. Hey! Babe, it's not what it looks like. I was, uh, giving her CPR. Come on. We're going to get married right now. And then, we're going to get a divorce. Wait, but I don't want to. Let's go! The only marks I have left is to fulfill all my promises and become famous. How am I going to become famous? Hmm. Let's brainstorm some ideas. <gasps> I know. I'm going to post thirst traps on TikTok. Brianna, no! How'd the video do? Did it get any views? Yeah, a lot of views. Then why don't you look happy? Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> we saw your TikTok video. You thought you looked so hot. <laughs> Whatever, at least I'm famous. Oh yeah, you're famous, all right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm famous. Not the way I want it to be, but hey, at least my promises are fulfilled. Um, Brianna, you still have one mark left. What? Look. No. No, no, no. My last promise was to fulfill all of my promises, and I did! I think that's sort of like a lifelong promise. So I can't get into my dream school? You could always try Yale. Brianna, you can't cover up your mark. They'll find out. How would they find out? I have to get into Harvard. It's my dream. Hi, I'm here to interview for Harvard. We've been expecting you. Come this way. Welcome to the Harvard interview. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to ask you to remove your foundation. What? Why? We received a tip from someone that you have an unfulfilled promise. I'm sorry, but this is just protocol. All right, so I was lying. I have an unfulfilled promise. 
but I meet every other requirement and then some. The interview's over. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. How'd the interview go? They found out. They said they received a tip from someone. But how is that possible? No one else but us knew. Hey, Mom, the interview's over. Can you come pick me up, please? Thank you so much for the heads up on Brianna. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't want someone getting to Harvard dishonestly. Your interview's tomorrow. You make a great candidate for Harvard. Thank you so much, sir. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Mom, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Give me Mr. Snowman. I got it. <laughs> catch me if you can. Ricky! Why'd I catch you, Ricky? You're not going to come after me? It says this action would have consequences. I don't want to find out what kind of consequence. Yeah, I could have a bad consequence, like Mr. Snowman dying. <gasps> Honey, would you like a ride to school? No, I'm fine, Mom. I'll just take the bus. Wait, I made you some lunch. Here. I could have just bought lunch at school, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Thanks for the lunch. Bree, want to come with us to throw Timmy in the fountain? Yeah. No, guys, I don't think that's a good idea. Help me! Hey, Brianna. Jake. You look amazing today. Thanks. Come closer. How about you and I skip class and go on a walk together? I would love... I would love to. Perfect. Mmm, yummy chocolate. Mother, may I have a bite of chocolate? No, you may not. You may throw it on the floor. Mmm, chocolate. Timmy, Timmy, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? Mother, may I? Go home, I'm scared. You may. Mother, may I? Please let me have a drink of water. No, you may not. <laughs> Babe! You may not disobey mother. Ever. I can't believe it. Mother killed my boyfriend. She's such a... Shh. She's always listening. Mother, may I comfort my friend? No, you may not. You may kill her. Mother, may I comfort my friend? No, you may not. You may kill her with the item in your back pocket. No, Brianna, you wouldn't. I'm your friend. Steph, I can't disobey mother. Ah! <sighs> Steph, there's nowhere for you to run now. Mother, may I? Kill Brianna? You may. No! <coughs> Mother, may I go home and cry? No, you may not. You may face the consequences of your actions. Look what you did! You killed Steph! How could you, Brianna? She was my best friend! She was my friend, too! Mother told me to do it. 
I can't disobey what Mother says. Mother, may I avenge my friend and kill Brianna? You may. No, wait. Mother, may I ask for a truce? You? No, wait. Mother, may I ask for a truce? You may try. <laughs> I don't want a truce. You don't deserve it. Steph was my best friend and now she's gone. Look, I know what I did was wrong, but you don't have to be like me. You're better than that. You're right. I am better than that. But don't think we're friends anymore. You're dead to me. Yes, yeah, school's out. Mother, may I go home? School's over. No, you may not. You may stay at school. Why is mother doing this? She's not letting anyone go home today. I'm hungry. I want dinner. I'm starving. Mother, may I eat my bagel? You may, but anyone has a chance to steal your meal. Brianna, stop! Mother, may I eat this bagel and only I can eat this bagel? Hmm. Mother, may I eat this bagel and only I can eat this bagel? Hmm. You may. I'm so dizzy. Em! Emma! I... I... She's too weak. She needs to eat something. Mother, may I share my bagel? I guess you may. Here. Em, you need to eat this. You okay, Em? I'm feeling a little better. Mother, may I have a drink of water? No, you may not. Mother, may I drink this glass of water? You may, but you have 10 seconds to finish it or you'll die. Mother, I finished it! All right, you may live. Mother, may I go to sleep? I'm so tired. No, you may not. Jake! Jake! Mother, may I go to sleep? I'm so tired. No, you may not. Jake! Jake! Ah, what do you want? I was sleeping. Jakey, Jakey, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? Oh, no, Mother, I wasn't really sleeping. I was just pretending. Jakey, lying to Mother? You may die. <laughs> Jake! You may not cry. Yes, Mother. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm gonna fall asleep. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to sleep. Emma, you can't sleep. You need to stay alive. I can't stay awake much longer. Mother, may I go to sleep? No, you may not. You may stay awake. I'm exhausted. If only there was a way we could stop playing Mother May I. Mother May I. Stop playing Mother May I? <laughs> you. Mother May I. Stop playing Mother May I? <laughs> you. May. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Mother. Mother, may I stop playing Mother May I? No, you may not. You may play Mother May I for all eternity. No, but that's not fair. Too tired. I'm just going to take a nap and go home to my family. Emma! It's not fair. Mother let you stop playing Mother May I and not me. What are you going to do? I'm going to end you. <coughs> Emma! <laughs> Emma, Emma, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? I gotta get out of here. There's gonna be a target on my back if people find out I beat the game. The door's locked! Who's there? Who are you? Show yourself! Mother's here. Who's there? Who are you? Show yourself! Mother's here. You really thought I'd let you stop playing Mother May I that easy? What? In order to stop playing Mother May I, you must defeat me. Mother, please don't do this. I don't want to go up against you. I love you. You. You do? Yes. Has anyone ever told you that before? No, they did not. I thought all my children were just ungrateful. Mother, may I give you a hug? You may. Congratulations, you are now mother. What? Who is this? I thought I just killed mother. <laughs> there are multiple mothers. Mother... May I drink water? Mother, may I go home? Mother, may I use the bathroom? Mother! <laughs> oh no, she only has one brain cell today. That's not enough. How is she going to survive? <laughs> Here, honey, eat this. It's breakfast. Cut. 
She can't go through the day with only one brain cell. I know what to do. I was gifted a special chocolate that increases brain cells. Honey, eat this right away. Kitchen. No, sweetie, that's chocolate. You need to eat it. So close, sweetie, but a bit lower. Yes. And take a bite. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I just read that entire book in three seconds. Honey, she has infinite brain cells. All right, guardians, I'm off to school. No need to walk me. I know the way. Class, what's three plus two? The answer's five, miss. What is this, baby class? Are we in baby school? This is kindergarten, but you're too smart for kindergarten. You'll have to go to high school.